Well, I'll tell you, what, we're gonna do a couple more pressure experiments. Sweet. And here's the thing to remember, is that if you have bigger pressure on one side of something, and you have smaller pressure on the other side, it makes a force, and the force goes from where the pressure is high towards where the pressure is low. And so what we're gonna do, we have something right behind the table we're gonna use here. So I'm gonna use the leaf blower to make some pressure. It's gonna make extra pressure here. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna take that pressure, I'm gonna put it into a bag, and the bag is underneath the board that Grace is standing on top of, so there'll be extra pressure underneath the board, mm -hmm. and that's gonna push. And Grace, whenever you're ready, go ahead and hit the power switch. Okay. And we'll make extra pressure underneath you, and let's see what happens. Oh yeah. I'll pull the plug here. We'll let the air come back out again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we have two more things we want to do. Where do you think there are more air molecules? Down near the surface of the Earth or up high? Down. Down near the surface. What's going to pull them down? Gravity. Gravity. Okay. The gravity is pulling down, down, down. Down near the surface, there's a lot more molecules. So where is the pressure higher? Down here where there's lots of molecules? or up above. Down, down. Down here, there's a lot more molecules, so there's a lot more pressure. Okay. And that's generally, too, if you take something and you raise it up, the pressure's lower at the top than it is at the bottom. And we're going to do a couple of experiments. First off, there's a bucket, and it's right behind you, Alice. And I want you to go ahead and bring that over. And here's what we're going to do. We'll take that bucket. There's a tube. The table, and there's a tube. <laughs> and I'm going to take a balloon. Then we're going to blow up the balloon, not with air. We're going to blow it up with water. Wow. If I take this bucket and I fill it up with water, I'll go ahead and fill it up. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. And now, yeah. is it blowing up the balloon? A little tiny little bit, bit, isn't it? Much. A little tiny bit. How about if I take this bucket and I raise it up, what's that do to the pressure? Makes it go down. Makes the pressure go. That's pressure now at the bottom is higher. Pressure's lower up there. It's higher at the bottom. You can now hear it now. So it's, I have higher pressure at the balloon. bottom. It is, and I'm blowing it up. And the way I made the difference in pressure that blew it up was I took this balloon, this bucket, and I raised it up in the air. And by raising up the bucket, I make the pressure higher at the bottom. And it's high enough now if you want to, to blow that, up the balloon. Oh, there's a ladder here, isn't there? Oh. To go a little bit higher? Let's do that. And I'm going to go ahead and raise it up even higher. OK. It's going to fill up a lot faster. And now oh. I have, oh yeah, a bigger difference in pressure. Bigger difference in pressure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> getting pretty okay, big, isn't be it? Be careful, because like, I'm pretty sure it's going to explode. <laughs> well done. Yeah.